Good morning, everybody. Prep Aussie here. Um, today is the 28th of February 2016. Um, this is obviously not the time and date. Um, Sierra Remote Observatories, Shaver Lake, California. I'm guessing. Um, I was just flicking through the channels this morning, or the webcams this morning. I came across this. Now, I, I, can, I'm pretty sure that I've looked at Sierra before, but for some reason, it's, the date and time is wrong. Um, I don't know why, but the sun seems to be in the right spot this morning. Um, you know, down in the afternoon, I, I'm guessing. Um, I have no way of knowing what I'm going to show you is now or in the past. For all I know, these days it could be in the future. It's that bizarre. Um, so I'll, I'll show you what I was looking at. See the webcam uh, with the chemtrail. I'm going to stop this in a second. Notice, notice the configuration of the um, what do you call it? Chemtrailing. Big square box goes like that. I'll stop it for you right on it so you can see it. See the big square box? Seems like a pretty definite kind of uh, what's the name they've done there. Oh, I've never seen chemtrailing, so <clears throat> excuse me, I, I don't know what it what it what sort of configurations they do, but I'm guessing they sort of do big blocks so that it sort of does this sort of stuff. They overlay it all the time, I'm guessing. I, I don't really know because I've never seen it. Um, as I said, we're in Perth and th they'd have to literally start in Cape Town to get the stuff over here. It, it's that windy. So um, I'll start this again and you can see what I'm looking at. You have to be quick though. Mr. Everybody see that? Look at the size of that. Now, before everyone says, oh, it's a cloud and everything else, I've been watching this for the last hour. Those clouds there, those ones, have moved. They were over it and they've moved off it. And I'll point out to you that there is another one there with that little uh, planet there. You see another one there, another one there, and there's, uh, there's a planet behind here. So there's one, two, three, and there's a planet there. You can see the, the shape of it. So this was, if, like I said to you, I have no idea if this time and date is right or wrong, whether I'm watching something that was in the past, but if I am, then I've captured something that is in the past. Excuse me, I need a coffee this morning. Um, that's, you know, you can definitely see that. Look, it's there for all to see. And it seems odd to me that the actual uh, cam trailing went exactly where that was supposed to be. And as I said, I've been watching it for a good while now, and these clouds have actually shifted off it. And when I started again, just watch this. You, you can actually see it come from the back. It goes from the back to the front, the forward, if you know what I mean. You see the image there? You can see it at the back, and then it's, it comes to the front. It tells, it tells you it's shifting forward. You see it? It's up the back here. Watch. See it? I'll try and stop it for you. You see it come through? It comes through from the from the back to the front. You see it? You see it? Just there? Watch. See it? Right there. Bang. And it moves through to the front. And that's a big pink cloud, folks. Uh, planet. It's very pink. I'll try and stop it for you. Uh, 
and then plug it used it. See how we went. There you go. You see that? That is a planet. And a bloody great big planet as well. And it's very pink. That's a cloud. That's a cloud. That's a cloud. That's a cloud. There's too much density in that for that to be a cloud. As I said, there's that one there, that one there, and these are moving as well. There's one there, and it, when you when you go back, it seems like there's a planet there, but I don't know, it doesn't look like it when you expand it up. But you can definitely see the outline of it when you're coming down. So let me start it again. You see it there? That's where it is at the back. You see the other planet there? There's another one there as well. I hope you can all see that. Just there, look. That's where it comes from. So it's moved forward over that time. I don't know what the idea of the chemtrailing is because with these cameras, it's uh, you notice how it misses that last shot. Look, You can actually see it come from the back, like I was saying, if you keep watching it. Let me refresh it and see what happens. Like I said, I have no idea if this is uh, original footage, old footage. It's strip that's big, whatever that is. All right, folks, I'll upload it and you can all have a look at it. Good on you. Cheers. God bless. Good morning, everybody. Prep Aussie here. Um, today is the 28th of February 2016. Um, this is obviously not the time and date. Um, Sierra Remote Observatories, Shaver Lake, California. I'm guessing. Um, I was just flicking through the channels this morning. All the webcams this morning I came across this now I I can, I'm pretty sure that I've looked at Sierra before but for some reason it's the date and time is wrong um, I don't know why but the Sun seems to be in the right spot this morning um, you know down in the afternoon I, I'm guessing um, I have no way of knowing what I'm going to show you is now or in the past for all I know, these days it could be in the future. It's that bizarre. Um, so I'll, I'll show you what I was looking at. See the webcam uh, with the chemtrail. I'm going to stop this in a second. 